women rights violation amid COVID-19 lockdown. Civil society organizations call on governments to compensate affected women. Society organizations working on trade, investments, human and labor rights issues have tried governments and demanding for the protection of the rights of Ugandans working in commercial investment schemes like factories, flower farms and plantation-based investments. These have issued concerns on the continued violation of women's rights during the COVID-19 lockdown. While addressing the press at the Gulf Coast Hotel in Kampala, Jen Nalunga, Siatin Executive Director, says that prior to the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic and also during the pandemic, a number of investment schemes have continued to violate the rights of some of the most marginalized individuals in the society, especially women. Nalunga says that reports by organizations like Food Rights Alliance, International Accountability Project and others indicate that many evictions involving commercial investment schemes have left more than 30,000 families homeless through the use of excessive force, illegal arrests, detentions and intimidation among others. Uganda is what we have, is land. So the moment you dispossess somebody of land, you have made them landless and you have made them poor. Elizabeth Kemdisha from FIDA has on the same noted that women working in flower farms have been subjected to very poor working conditions like lack of protective gears which exposes them to chemicals that burn and irritate their skin and labor casualization which exposes them to job insecurity. So such violations are what we'd like to bring to the attention of the government to look into the salary that is paid, casualization of labor at the farms. Most of these women do not have contract. So when you do not have a contract, what's your negotiation, you know, mechanism? How do you then get back? So if you're not called back, then you do not have any avenue to access any justice. Council David Kabamba, ED Center for Food and Adequate Living Rights said in this case they have filed, they want government to also compensate women whose contracts have been terminated as a result of COVID-19 situation. And we want government first of all to quickly investigate and secondly to amend the law on uh, investment to a human rights impact assessment that any investor to start investing in Uganda, you must have an assessment of your investment on the social rights of people, but also human rights generally. As a civil society fraternity working on trade investment, human and labor rights demand government also to amend the Investment Code and Employment Act as well as the Occupation Health and Safety Act.